Here's what's happening. Police are working to find out who's responsible for a shooting that killed two people and hurt another. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Michelle Heron in for Cindy Sexton. It happened at the Bayberry apartment complex off Wilson Street last night. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland joins us now with what we know. Hunter. Yeah, Michelle, take a look at this. It was a chaotic scene last night. Police were at the complex for more than 10 hours after shots rang out at the complex around 9 o'clock last night. The victims' names have not been released, and with no arrests in the case, neighbors and city leaders are on high alert. Our community is mourning. Our community is sad. <clears throat> a teddy bear tied to a tree with balloons is how those who live at Bayberry Apartments are remembering those who died. Christmas is coming up, and for this to happen, it's a lot of people that are not going to spend Christmas with their loved ones. Two people were shot and killed here last night and a third taken to the hospital. Something Councilman Anthony Bird says has shaken the Avondale community. It's, it's, it's scary, you know, it's a lot of kids that live out here. Others are disappointed but not surprised. Well, they've been having problems up there for years. It, it, it's, it's a drug and gang related area. Larry Crutcher has family who lives in the complex. He says the violence on Wilson Street has become a tough reality for the people in District 8. Every, maybe I guess from three to six months, it's going to be a stabbing or killing in the Willows. Though the councilman says the solution to the violence goes deeper than any policy. So what do you think would ultimately solve the violence here in the area? Uh, love, you know, we got to start loving on each other. Hurt people hurt people. Neighbors are staying vigilant with whoever did this still on the loose. And they violent people. You know, they don't they don't have no remorse about. The councilman is holding a panel tonight at the John P. Franklin building. He says political science students from UTC will pitch policies that could potentially combat gun violence in the area. He says he's praying to God this will bring change to the community. Hunter Hoagland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hunter, thank you. Police have responded to Bay Area apartments 323 times since January of 2015. The most common reason police responded was for a disorder. Burglary, auto theft and aggravated assault were the other top reasons police have responded to the apartment complex in the past.